Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, toggle running and galloping. Toggle running means in for the horse, walking and trotting and galloping. So I'm going to add those uh, three states for the horse movement. So this is walking and with the caps lock I can toggle trotting like this and then galloping with the shift so as long as I hold the shift the horse will continue to gallop okay he's stuck there and when I release it he will start to trot again and if I press the caps lock again he will continue to walk like this all right so that's what i'm going to do today and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys have given me that means a lot to me all right so let's first uh, check what are the animations that we have for the horse the blend space that I have already created okay so this is zero zero idle and this is walking and this is trotting and this is galloping galloping speed is uh, thousand and this one is 800 and this one is two two fifty this one is 750 this one is 1000 right so let's open our host character and in the character moment the default walk speed where is it yeah I should set this to the default walk speed that means 250 right and also we need couple more variables to hold speeds work speed it should be in the type of float and not run trot speed and gallop speed okay and walk speed should be the default value should be 250 and this one should be 750 well I feel the gap is a little bit much but we can change it later and the gallop speed is 1000 okay so right so at the begin play I should set no let's do that later so now I have already created the inputs for the player and I'm gonna use the same inputs for example let me show you my inputs Mm -mm. At, not axis action mappings we have sprint left shift and toggle crouch uh, that doesn't make sense for the horse and we have and direct yeah we have this toggle run so with the caps lock we can toggle running and with the sprint so left shift we can gallop so okay so let's first uh, implement toggle running event toggle run and yeah this is this comes from bpi character i should use toggle run action event 
okay so then again I'm gonna need another variable to hold the value a boolean to check if I am running or walking let's quickly check how did I do that in my player human character because I don't remember that do I have a boolean yes we have a boolean actually we have one two three three booleans and I think that's not good enough even if I have already done that here so let's use an integer moment moment mode and one note zero means walking one means let's add a description here yeah zero walking one running two hello p that's a note for me okay well I think I immediately regret this because so how can I do this okay no worries let's forget about this and add a variable running and they should be under moment category that way it's much clear and it should be a boolean okay right get running so the default value of running should be false and get the note so toggle running means if I am running I should stop running and start walking if I am already walking I should start to run well no this should be an integer sorry about confusing you guys okay so now I should select the speed so yeah I'm gonna do something like this select speeds based on this moment mode option 2 is gallop speed this one must be trot speed and this one is zero is walk speed right then I should get a reference to this one and set max walk speed with the output of this and connect it here so yeah now I'll convert this part to a function or a macro let's use a macro uh, set speed and right so now this is since this is toggle run I should do a select here no. so change pin type to integer and if the moment mode is already zero 
I should give one that means it should run if the moment board is one I should give zero and don't forget to set whatever the value we get here as the moment mode this okay right let's check if that works where is my horse okay he's here right okay now he's as you can see he's walking and I'll with the caps lock he start to trot in well actually I'm not happy with the animation realism but still the function is working okay now this is working and working animation is quite good compared to the trot okay so now let's implement galloping okay so just I'll yeah I should implement this toggle run event as well so here I should do the select I'm gonna use the same set speed function and uh, if this is true I should I should set this to 1 that means in running mode if this is false I should set it to 0 uh, the reason to use this toggle run is that I with this input action I can't use it as uh, I can't call this from other blueprint as a blueprint event but in here I can call that toggle run so that if I do this then the horse will always be in the walking mode at the beginning and even if I had set a different value here it will get the correct values based on the values we have defined here okay now sprint galloping and for the character I have used it as sprint so I am going to use the same key sprint action event okay so this is holding sprint this is a hold and release event that means as long as you keep the sprint button hold the horse will gallop if you release it it will go back to running mode okay so this is how I do it pressed set the moment mode to 2 and release set the moment mode to 1 well is it that simple let's see okay he's walking and I'll press shift right he's galloping and I'll remove shift now he's running I'll press shift again okay he's galloping galloping remove shift trotting and press caps lock again now he is walking right I think yeah I think that's all I want to do for today and if you want you can check the full source code here in my patreon account but please note that I haven't included the host models in the project file because uh, I don't have rights to share it 
and if you have any more questions you can ask in patreon or in the comment section below or oh, right in the upcoming episodes we will continue to improve our horse mechanics and make it perfect so I'm planning to add footstep sounds and yeah mounted fightings many things all right so see you in the next episode goodbye